You're still alive? Good. Apparently Skynet's got a real hard-on for you. So we figured why not use you as bait? Aren't you afraid that Skynet will bring a lot of firepower if they know we're both here? Afraid? No. Prepared for that eventuality? Yes. We've got eyes on the ambush site from every angle. If anyone shows up, it means they were listening. What if it's one of our guys, or just a scavenger? Too bad. We can't have anyone or anything sabotage our plan. Not this time. This time? We were very close once before. For years, we've been preparing for the final attack. But it took just one man to fuck everything up. That day, Perry... Our previous field commander died, and I inherited control of South Division. Since then, I've been making sure that no one fucks up again. We've got movement. Take position. What do you have? A hooded man's walking down the street. Might be a scavenger. Rivers, you saw him. Is it the same model? Is it the infiltrator? I can't tell. We're waiting for your signal. I think that might be it. You think? Good enough for me. Cease fire! Cease fire! Target down! I repeat, target down! Go check him! Eyes on the target. Proceed with caution. Is he dead? What the fuck? It's the target! You can't get away. Fire at will! It's in the open! It's a fucking machine! Plasma rifle! I want it! It won't fucking die! Shoot! Take cover! 
Open fire! That's one of the son of a bitch. It's inside! Rivers! Rivers, we're trying to get through. You can't let it get away, you hear? Commander, we got it. We finally got it. Good job, Rivers. Stay there. We're on our way. There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us, wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left, even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet 1. Uh, I still have to run some tests, so f for now I would say no. We need some more time, Connor. I know you don't want to hear this, Commander, but if there's one person who can help us, it's Dr. Mac. Mac? It, we don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. You've been watching him without telling me? You've let your emotions cloud your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Mac's whereabouts were no longer this your This bullshit. Concern. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that makes that's mistakes. That's enough, Commander. You know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. I said that's enough. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. We wear it proudly. And knowing you're wearing such a badge, Rivers, is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. Commander Baron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. 
Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there since now it's behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Look at him. He never talks to anyone. He just sits there. Is it, is it, is it true? Is he human now? I bet he's one of those machines. <laughs> You're alone. No time for that. Do whatever it takes to get everyone out of that shelter. Do you understand? They're not safe there. What? Why? God damn it! What does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter? That camera. Dr. Mac! Is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mac! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model, the Infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? How do I know you're not an Infiltrator? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. If you want me to help you, you have to take a test for me. Test? Yes, to determine whether you're a Terminator or not. And be careful, I'm watching you. Oh, they're actually trying to fight you? Very clever way to make me think that you're not one of them. Unfortunately for you, I'm not that easily fooled.
We don't have time for any of this. Just tell me where you are. I am not a robot. Living tissue would make you a cybernetic organism, not a robot. Words have meaning. Conversations between human beings would be a lot easier if we all just trusted each other and understood the deeper meaning of what we said. Keep that in mind during this test. This mansion is filled. There's no water in that pool. I'd have you jump in and see if you float. Wang, that's a different test. Great, you're here. Get on that stage, quick. My patience is wearing thin. Why am I even here? Here? On the stage, you mean? Um, because I wanted you to recite a poem. That's right, that's why I got you on this stage. To invoke the fear of public speaking in you. This will allow me to check your emotional response. Very important in these sort of tests. So, if you could go ahead and recite a poem. In the shadows where we live, searching for compassion. Oh, you're actually doing it? I wasn't really expecting that. So, you've been taught to obey orders. I see. Oh, 
Now wait, and be quiet. They regularly patrol this area. Don't let them see you. So you know I'm not a Terminator? Of course I do. They are way better shots than you. Then why are you making me do all this? <sighs> because I want you to grab something for me before I help you. Turn left when you leave the theater. There you'll find a plane crash site. My spider scout should be stuck somewhere around. Just grab it and bring it back to me in one piece. Skynet completely took over this place. I could do something about that. I've got it! Good job! I'm in my vault, in one of the buildings up the street. Meet me there.
This is it. I know it looks tempting, but please do not destroy that pla- Sorry for making you run around like that. But because of the recent increase in Terminator patrols, I couldn't get to that spider scout myself. Can I see it? Thank you. I have a gift, as a token of my appreciation. While you're out looking for my spider scout, I used some leftover parts to make a new radio for you. I've been picking up your signal for a while now, and I imagine that Skynet has as well. So, I've made it harder to decipher. You won't have to worry about them eavesdropping. You've been listening, so you know why I'm here. Yes. Now, let me see that gun. What a beauty. I've got to tell you, if Skynet wasn't so gung-ho about killing everything... <laughs> What's interesting about it is that the matter inside is far more condensed. That way, it releases more energy on discharge, dealing much more damage. And also, its plasma blast is violet, so that's different. Can you bypass the encryption lockout so we can use it? Alvin couldn't. Alvin couldn't bypass an egg timer if his life depended on it. I'll do it, but it's not that simple. First, you'll have to bring me Skynet's latest security codes. Security codes? They will allow us to access Skynet's mainframe. But they change them regularly, so I need you to connect to any HK unit and download the newest security codes. To do that, you'll need my code reader. When I was... excused from the shelter, they made me leave all my equipment behind. Alvin should have my code reader. Okay, is that everything? As far as the security codes go, yes. Then I'm moving out. Actually, I've got a question about that infiltrator that you have there. Is it intact? Or more specifically, its neural net CPU? I've been hacking Skynet's units and I'm noticing similarities in their patterns. I think I'm ready to reprogram the CPU from that infiltrator. It's more powerful than any other. Should I ask Baron about that, too? No, 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 she can't know about it. She would not approve. I know how this sounds, but you need to steal it for me. What? I'm the only one that can reprogram that chip. For some reason, Skynet has started to learn at a geometric rate. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever's coming, and I believe that having an infiltrator on our side will give us the advantage. Just think about it. Commander. Rivers, what's the status? Max alive. He will help us, but he needs a device he left at the shelter. All right, we can do that. Report to me when you get back. Over and out. I have to say, you're doing quite well without my help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. 
I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon.